Okay, you got me. I'm excited for MLB 24. We just saw the Legends trailer for MLB The Show 24 with a lot of big names. Especially for me as a, as a Twins fan. We made out like the Yankees this year. I'm half convinced it's catered to us because we got a lot of big names. And we're going to talk about that and also the first details about MLB 24 and their content schedule. Because we got a couple little tidbits that I'm also pretty excited about. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Let's get it going. And here is that legend trailer. Unlock 190 plus new legends. Of course, you see Josh Gibson, Tony Stone, Buck Leonard, new legends from the Negro Leagues, Andrew Miller, brilliant prime in pinstripes and also with the Cleveland Indians. Of course, he's not been out of the game very long, which you'll notice is a trend going forward. Paul O'Neill, another brand new Yankee legend is going to coincide with that Derek Jeter storyline that we got this year. John Cruck, the Phillies all-time team getting some love and a broadcasting favorite of mine from baseball tonight. Richie Sexton, you see him in a Brewers jersey, also going to be on the Seattle Mariners as well. I do hope that for captains this year, they give us the ability to have any player who ever played that team get a captain boost to make it a lot better and someone might give a damn. Rich Aurelia, a big bopper for the Giants around Barry Bond's time. Not that I think that's going to happen, but we're starting to lay the foundation. A guy can dream. Brian Dozier, of course, we know he was coming back. He's the Twins Team Affinity Chapter 1, Season 1. Andy Pennant, they're making a case of bringing the steroid players back in. Johan, or excuse me, Nohan Santana. I am ecstatic to see one of the greatest lefties, one of the most underrated pitchers of at least my generation, if not all time. It's a damn crime that he did not last on the Hall of Fame ballot more than a year. He should have been a back-to-back-to-back -back -back Cy Young Award winner, damn it. Speaking of back-to-back, -back, another Twins legend, Tony Oliva. A pretty recent Hall of Famer that I am very excited about. Bernie Williams, another Yankee legend. This one, I'm really, really looking forward to. A switch hitter adding on to that outfield of Babe, Judge, Mickey Mantle. We joked about Pettit, but this does pique my interest. Rafael Palmeiro. Of course, last year, we got Mark McGuire and we got Sammy Sosa, two pillars of the steroid era. Now with Palmeiro, there's a chance that we could realistically see some of these big steroid heroes, or villains, depending on how you look at it. And the big shebang, Adrian Beltre. Of course, the big addition to this year's Hall of Fame class, He's hitting a homer on his knees here in the trailer. I really hope that's his home run, no doubt, celebration. And that wraps it up. That's the legend trailer for MLB 24. A lot of big names, none quite to the level of a Derek Jeter, for example. But that's not to say that it won't happen. SDS has made a point in recent years to bring in big legends throughout the year as a bit of a surprise. Remember Roy Halladay? I think we got him in May or June as a surprise, and I want to point your direction back to the Derek Jeter storylines because they're adding more as the year progresses. It would not surprise me once we get into the 2000s era, uh, 2009, the last championship that Derek Jeter won, that they might add in a Alex Rodriguez. I think it's the perfect storm. He's really been in the media a lot, whether it be for buying the Timberwolves or staying out in the sun a little bit too long. He seems to have made a face turn. You know, he was a heel for the longest time and more people like him. I'm not going to say everybody loves A-Rod. He's certainly a polarizing figure. Ask J-Lo how she feels about him. But that is the Legend cast that we have to look forward to, at least till now. Let me know in the comment section below who you are most excited for. Obviously, I'm pumped for Johan Santana. And a look at the content schedule. Because we're playing the game this week. Early access begins this Friday if... You pre-order the Digital Deluxe, the MVP, or the Negro League Edition. And of course, that's the beginning of Season 1, but not just that. Also, the Spring Breakout content is coming into fold. Not only are the game's brightest stars going to be on the field, 
Presumably, all the games are going to be on TV, which is nothing short of a damn miracle. Because somehow, in the year 2024 of our Lord, we seem to be having difficulties televising these spring training games. So you can assume that these are going to be a lot like future star cards for guys like Paul Skeens, maybe a Jackson Holiday, uh, Brooks Lee for the Twins right there, Jason Dominguez for the Yankees. The sky's the limit. I'm very excited, and I think this will be a great way to kick off the game because this drops the same day as early access. You don't even have to wait until the game's full launch. And then we've got the Soul Series, just a couple days later. We're not talking about Elden Ring. We're talking about an even bigger battle, this one in Korea, where the Dodgers and the Padres are playing a two-game regular season series <laughs> amid spring training and about a week until games for all the teams start counting. It's a weird concept, I got to admit. One, the games are being played at 5 in the morning, at least for my time, so uh, that's going to be rough. But then you got the Dodgers and Padres. They go spring training to regular season, back to spring training, then regular season again. <laughs> I don't really understand the concept. It's fine. They're playing in Korea. I get why the early time slot. Regular season action that counts in betwixt exhibition matchups. But that will be, of course, the first time that we see Shohei Otani in Dodger Blue. So I'd imagine we're going to see some cards from the Dodgers and the Padres, but also... Probably some players of Korean descent. A guy like ha Sun Kim who plays for the Padres seems like a pretty surefire bet. But maybe we're going to get a card for a guy like jung Oh Lee, who of course is coming overseas and playing Major League Baseball for the first time with the San Francisco Giants. And that all leads up to Launch Day on the 19th of March when the game officially releases. So there's a lot to be excited about, I think. This is probably one of the most stacked lineups that we're going to have at launch in a long time, if not ever. Typically, it's like a week or so until things really get going. But off rip, two programs available in the game before you can even go buy it at a retail store. That's pretty damn good. I'm happy. It seems like they've learned from their flaws. Seems. We'll see in practice, of course. But... I am excited. I do want to talk quickly about a franchise road of the show. I didn't do a full video on it. Okay, I didn't really have anything good to say about it. Um, I don't know. They did something. Not a whole lot. Uh, you know, it's just retreading the same stuff that we talk about every year. They put in a couple good additions, but not something to warrant a $70 purchase. So if you've been looking for that video for me, no, if you just play Road of the Show and Franchise, I would not recommend picking this game up. Uh, but if you do want to see my full thoughts and opinions, I will link the VOD to the stream I had on Twitch where I went over everything as it happened and you can kind of get the full landscape of what is new in Franchise and Road to the Show. There are some positives, just not a whole lot of them. So that's what we got with Diamond Dynasty. Obviously, we're going to be talking about that a lot in the coming days as... Uh, we ramp up for launch this coming Friday. So let me know in the comment section what you guys are most excited for and thank you all for watching.